Uh oh. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Compulsion84, and I've got uh, a little stainless steel rule. This is really niche, and I don't think most people will get much value out of it. But if you're, I don't know, like a mechanic, an engineer, um, anybody that might need to check something in a small measurement. So let's get this thing out of here. This plastic crap is really, God. I'm trying not to bend this little, God. And now this has to escalate. All right, finally got it out of the stupid packaging. So the neat thing about this guy is it's just a thin, small ruler. It's about a half of an inch wide. I think the actual dimension is 15, yeah, 15, 30 seconds. But it's uh, got in a little adjustment that you can use for height or depth. This one's not broken in like my one, ah, my other one, but it's just a little free moving thing. Also kind of like a little pocket clip thing. This thing is nice just to put in your pocket whenever you need to go, you know, inspect something or measure something, especially when I'm, you know, away from my desk. Taking a tape measure or something like that can be impractical. Uh, I can just slip this into a jean or a shirt pocket. Uh, it's nice. It's about six inches long. For most of the things I inspect at work or in personal projects, they're relatively small. The nice thing about these little precision scales or steel rules or whatever you want to call them is it's got 30 seconds markings on one side and 60 fourths on the other so you can get down to a pretty tight precision. The other nice thing is it's marked from the bottom so there's no offset or something like that which allows you to you know insert something to measure a depth or check a height. It is a little bit less precise if this end just gets a little bit worn down. For what I use it for, I don't need absolute perfect precision. I need it to be very close, so it, it works really well for that. It is really cheap. I think my original one was five or six, and then I got this one on sale for like 250. I'll put the uh, Amazon link down below. The only catch is it's an add-on item because it's so cheap, so you gotta buy out some other junk. Another nice thing about this guy is on the back, it's got eighth, 16th, 32nd, and 64th decimal equivalents. So for some of the really kind of unique ones, like I don't know, the 64th always throw me off, like 11 64th. I have no freaking idea what this is, what that is, but it'll give me it's a .171, so that's handy. Uh, again, these things are uh, they're really nice to have. You pick one up and you throw it in your toolbox, or like I said at work, uh, it, it just comes in handy. The only downside with this guy is it's in US units only, so if you're using metric, you need to get a different tool. So if you need something that's more accurate than a tape measure, but less accurate than a caliper, and obviously a lot more mobile, a stainless steel rule is a very good choice. I have literally nothing else to say about this. It's a ruler, it measures stuff, it works well for me, it's cheap enough that if you ruin it, you don't care. Anyways, I'm Compulsion84, take a look at some of my other videos over here on the left, if you enjoy what I do, please subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.